Again? I am recording. Awesome. Now we're going to the scariest part of the well, second scariest part of the we game, we Area 51. Into Area 51. I think the abandoned mine is nearby. That's gotta be where those Yokians dropped that invisibility part. Why? Why Why would they drop it in the abandoned part of Area 51? God only knows, but anyway, there is a there is a government vehicle that is circling the entirety of this place and will chase you down if you're caught. Does gas cost $14 here? <clears throat> what? Apparently so. You can also buy purple flirt. Huh. You can do this as many times as you have coins. I'd rather not. So what yeah, kind of help do they think they're going to get here in Area 50? Oh, I see what you mean. No civilians are allowed here. <laughs> I love it. It sounds like the freaking cop from Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> I'll oh, get you, mean, you next time. You mean Ro Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane? <laughs> I did basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, we're trying to defend the aliens and uh, protect them from your eyes or whatever. Why would they protect it? Why would they hide alien information from us? How much fun is that? I mean, you can ask the government, but they're not going to answer. By the way, this place is better, uh, better explored when you have the rocket ship, because then the government guys can't get you. Oh, dead. Why is there a diamond floating in the sky? Because you're supposed to be flying here. I wonder what could be up there. What, the penis admit, rock? That's a Probably cum. That's, that's a, that's a, that's a cutscene I've never seen before. Yeah, I'll admit, I never, I never really explored this place without the rocket ship. Oh, by the way, you can use the Goddard scooter and outrun the government. Really? So you're saying the government vehicle is somehow slower than some kid on a scooter? Well, I mean, he's not just some kid. He's Jimmy Neutron, boy genius. Why is the environment trying to kill? Oh, sorry, the sign's over here. That is a fence. I, I see it now. Didn't yeah, really load some, right. There's, there's also some uh, signs out there that basically say nothing out here. Oh, come on. Oh. I mean, you can go and look at one if you'd like. Is this the bit? I'm, I'm trying to figure out where the abandoned mine is. It looks like there's a freaking I, train. Was, yeah, I saw that before. Joe, you're going to feel really dumb when I say this, but the abandoned mine was right in front of the teleporter. So all, of, all everything that I'm looking at right now is worthless is what you're saying. Oh, it is literally right there, isn't it? Yep, 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 yep. But not that way. Not to the right, to the left. See that mine shaft over there? This is it. This is the entirety of what we're trying to do here. Pretty much. Like I said, this place doesn't really get interesting until you have the rocket ship. Oh, boy. Okay. More coal. More coal. Okay, is that so a wall I'm mine? Tell you what nope, the? It's a button. Cool. I finally have the part I need to turn invisible. This will get me one step closer to teleporting to outer space. Why? I, okay, whatever, Jimmy. Loading invisibility simulation. This level will teach you how to use your invisibility invention. But who's going to teach you how to speak besides William Shatner? Button to activate your invisibility invention. Great. Your invisibility will be limited and will shut off so the batteries can recharge. Once the batteries are recharged, how about you just give me a cloak? You can activate it again. Okay, so you will use this. You will use this invention. Far too many times in this game. For, it's quite, for, it's quite literally my least favorite invention in this game. Um, so what happens if they see me? They will come after you, attack you, and you'll use neutron energy every time you get hit. You also can't use your shrink ray in this uh, area because this is this test area is meant for the invisibility. Yeah, but they told me to use the left mouse button. Oh, I see what they're up to. You don't have you don't have it selected, dude. I have to select my powers? Where? Dude, your backpack! Tab. How annoying is that? I thought that was just for Goddard crap. No, that's for everything! Lordy. What happens if I do this whole thing without using invisibility? 
you easily can. It's only when you get to the Okian ship that you actually need it. And I can say that because that's literally coming up as soon as you leave the mine shaft. <laughs> They're going at the speed of an effing Roomba. Yep. And now they're now they're echoing off each other. This is great. How would you like to have a Yoki and Roomba though? Now, what is this guy doing? He's stuck in a loop. I get it. <laughs> it's not gonna shut up. No, he's not gonna shut up until he can't see you anymore. <laughs> this is great. Oh, I mean, this is a game from 2001. Oh no, I'm gonna make a really wide turn. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not, not gonna walk to all these places. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the end. Yeah, I'm, that is that is the best idea. There should be a teleporter up there too, but I don't know. That was that was it. I learned how to be invisible. I better check my Yeah, you gotta go back down to the teleporter. Ouch! Well, I can't even. Oh, that's annoying. By the way, that bar is full. You can right click and become invisible. I think I can also hit control and it'll work. See? Now you're invisible. I'd like to I'd like to point out a boundary break thing. You can see Jimmy's rocket pack inside of his backpack when you do this. Did, did you notice the two little white dots that were inside of his backpack? Those were those were the rocket things that are stored inside there. Oh my god. Well, I suppose I uh, those don't have invisibility, so you just see two rockets rock walking around. Wait, he touched me and nothing happened. He did, it did happen. Well, this is the simulation. You're not going to lose neutron energy here. Oh, well, that. Wow, there's absolutely no threat at all. Not in the simulation, but there is in the actual game. Back when I was a child, I actually died in the next step, next thing, and had to restart the area. This is. That's a mine shaft that goes and gives you some more neutrons. I'll do that. Oh, boy. Okay. Oof, you absolutely uh, have to go. You absolutely have to go back through there, though. I uh, frick these buttons. Ah. Oh, slippity slide. You know, there's a YouTuber called Slippy Slides. I suppose why not? So there's more. There's more neutrons around there, but you're welcome to just go back up. Okay. Uh, okay, so you have to go back up to get out of here, since you don't have the rocket, and, uh, yeah, just watch watch this crap. What happened? So I can, okay, so there's this. Wait. Yeah, you just go, that's, that button closes the door. I'm trapped! Am I screwed? Oh no, it came back. No, it, it comes back after a few seconds. Anyway, collect that spaceship. Hey, what's that noise, Goddard? Oh no, I think the Yokians have detected us. Wow, they're beating me aboard. I better get this invisibility invention ready for a live field test. They're missing. I'll be back soon. Oh, uh, I, I, I love how Goddard doesn't give two shits. <laughs> I got my math right. I can be invisible for about 15 seconds before I drain the battery. Luckily, it should take about the same amount of time to automatically recharge. All I need to do is locate the escape pods to get back home. I think I hear a guard coming. What a warm welcome I received. And escape this cell. Well, I mean, you're not exactly liked after what you did to Paltra. I don't even know. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. This when I was a kid, when I was a kid, um, I, I, I got tricked. I got tricked with one of those classic, uh, classic thing, uh, rumors about, about games. From some kids when we were uh, when we were at uh, at uh, the Christmas pageant at church, they told me that I could fight Poltra in this game. Okay, so let me tell you before you before you advance too far, you're welcome to pick things up while I do. When you get to the final room of this area, there is where you'll find the Super Bubble Gun Mobile. Okay. Can they get up here? Yes. Oh, <laughs> they have to climb. I'll give them that. I think that guy's hot. <laughs> I'm busy. Okay. 
You have to go all the way up and get that one. Oh. They took my jetpack? Well, screw them. Yeah, this is basic. This area is basically um, like that one scene where Gordon Freeman loses all of his all of his stuff. Oh, frick. See, they hurt you. Not really. I'm I'm okay in general. Yeah. So this area is like basically like Gordon Freeman losing all of his stuff, but still having one item. Excuse me. They have a sign that says dungeon, and it points upstairs. Who the hell designed this shit? I mean, considering they're, they're slime inside egg suits. There, now you have your red neutron. All that's left up there is a blue neutron. Yeah. Oh, the escape pods are over here. Yeah, so the escape pod room, when you go into it, I will tell I will tell you where to go. Just keep going forward. Just keep going through that area right there. Open the, open the door there. Follow the arrow. And go. wait, wait, when you get inside this room, when you get inside this room that's just ahead, go to the right, and there's your super bubble up here. Okay. See that orb? That took me years to find. Wait. You, they let you skip it? Yes, you can skip it, but... That is the only place where you can get the super bubble gum over here. Jimmy's a centimeter tall! Invention. Jimmy. We currently have no tutorial for this invention. What? As it is still a prototype. We believe, however, that this invention works best on a water surface. Okay, now activate the super bubble gum mobile. So I have to go here. And it's the bubble. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, don't worry, this is easy. Just go to the other side and uh, you're in... You're in plutonium now. Wait, how am I supposed to jump? I don't want to right uh, click. Oh, it's insert again. It's insert. Christ. Or right, or right click to jump. Your trophy is on the yellow platform. The one thing I don't hit immediately. Oh, for F6, Jimmy, pick it up! Use your stubby ass arms! I better check my list and there you go. Objective. Now you can exit the now you can exit the simulation. And uh, <laughs> now the sh alien ship. You should go to the back of the room, like the opposite side of where you are. I'm gonna jump into space! There's a red neutron there that you can pick up. Wait, isn't this where they kept talking about me? Child's play. All Yokian ships are alike. Rather small. One second, and I'll plot the navigation triangulation to pinpoint my destination back to Area 51. All I need to do is activate this button, and the escape pod will launch automatically. I don't think that guy realized I was trying to monologue while he was doing intruder alert. Intruder alert. So I got captured, and now I'm back already? Yep. And now you're on the Mesa. By the way, if you try to jump off, you'll get teleported right back up. Uh. Yodel! Why did I just yodel? So the buzzard would come eat my soul? <laughs> it looks like it could. I would suggest the Super Bubble Gum Mobile or the Goddard Scoop. But if I jump my jetpack, but I thought I had a jetpack. Wait! Well, you'll also four, get teleported back three, if the government two, guys find one, you. One blast off! Another successful launch. There, go hit Mars or something. Okay, whatever. All right. Now you might want to. Oh, you, you happen to notice that they that they didn't uh, do the layering properly, and you can still see the box. Yes, that is pretty damn ugly. Yeah, you gotta get to the teleporter quick. Those the car will teleport you right back. Better go home, little man. <laughs> Better go home, little man. Oh, so the buzzard reminded me that the telephone booths are important. Thanks, I guess. Mm -hmm. Get inside there and the government guys can't touch you. <laughs> They're allergic to phone booths. There's also a hitbox around it. Anyway, you wanted to see Judy Neutron? She's right behind you. <gasps> Hello! Hey, Mom! James Isaac Neutron, where have you been? Uh, I jail. That's why you raised me. 
I don't have it, Mom, but Dad was in the garage this morning. I bet he has it. Speaking of your father, have you seen him lately? He said he was going to run some errands downtown, but that was over two hours ago. He's divorcing you. Not since this morning. He's probably at the candy bar stuffing his face. Can you get the key from him and bring it home? Sure, Mom. No problem. Thank you, Jimmy. Why don't we just buy a lockpick? <laughs> uh, sadly, though, when, when you're playing this game, um, you oh, there you can now get inside the area that has the the secret neutron. By the way, um, it's over. Okay, turn around. Turn around. A uh, little more. A little more. You see that structure over there? That metal structure that's over by the lake. Wow. This dumbass garage. That must be the African swallow eggs. I better collect that one next to the boat. Back to the nest. Get in there, activate the Goddard scooter, and try to drive forward. Sorry, hang on. Outstanding! You didn't even touch the nest! You and your Monty Python skits. Cool Let's see it float. Anyway, get inside here, activate the Goddard scooter, and that wall should open, and there's another red neutron. Only if I'm on a scooter. It should work. Try jumping a few times. It, at least it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. Jumping's insert because. It should work. It, it, that's how. Uh, Did I break it by moving the ship in the other direction? Oh, oh my gosh. I had to back up. It's, it's invisible. But you'll have, there you go. 13 red neutrons. Okay. Lucky number. No, 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 no. Okay. You can't get stuck in here. Anyway. Um. Yeah, now you just go to downtown, which is on the opposite side of where the school is. So literally the same road, but opposite side. And you will be able to find him at the candy bar. So sadly in this game, even though you're going to the candy bar, you will not see Sam. Oh no. Is the candy bar just an excuse to have the word bar in the game, basically? Or just, the, I yes. guess, the series? Yes, but all they all they sell there is candy and and uh, milkshakes and stuff like that. So it's not there's no alcohol at all. It's basically a teen hangout. Shucks! I bet you can still get heroin there if you try. Probably run back. Jimmy, go ahead. Go. Get off the get off the scooter. Get now the, I can't use off. the scooter. Whatever. Okay. That was odd. The candy bar is obvious. Is it the one that says candy bar? Yep. Cool. What else is here? King. King what? What do you sell? Crowns? <laughs> Betty's no Attic. That sounds creepy. And also Happy Harry's. That's where the heroin's at. <laughs> Happy Harry's heroin. <laughs> okay. Now wait until you see what Hugh Neutron looks like. <laughs> Does he look like Sin? Yeah. No, he's not a kangaroo. What does that supposed to- I said Sin. Uh, wh what? Yeah, that's the, that's the name of a character in Brock the Investigator. His name is Sin, and he's a kangaroo. Oh! Odd. Hey, Dad. I had a feeling you'd be here. Jim, James, Jimmy. Son, uh, what can I do for you? I can build a Mommy, nuclear bomb, but I can't buy a beer. You have it? There you go, Jimmy boy. Tell Mom I'll be home soon for dinner. What the- is he- why is he clapping? Why is he mumbling to himself? Is he a serial know, killer? <laughs> really? You, you, out of all people in this game, you think Hugh Neutron is a serial killer? The fact that you don't suspect him makes me suspect him more. Have you, dude, have you even watched the series? I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure Hugh is uh, kind of not not all uh, not all there, which is perfect serial killer material. Well, yes, but he's a goofy dad, so he can't possibly be that. I mean, he's a duck lover, don't you know that? That John Wayne Gacy loved ducks. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! There's another pad over by the swing set. I think I have plenty of rockets for all this crap. Yeah, you got another one more at least. Launch. I like how you can see outside the boundary. <laughs> <laughs> this world is a lie. Uh, no. swing sets behind. The swing sets behind you, mate. I'm just gonna give the key to Judy. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Mom. 
I got the tool chest. What? Why am I floating you, away? Great, you Jimmy. Broke it somehow. Can you open the tool chest in the garage and get me a wrench? Oh, and I left you some food on the table. I probably stole it already. Uh, but why are you incapable of opening a chest? Because she wants you to do it. This is the garage. No, I have to go inside can, to get to the. You have to, yeah, yeah. It's inside and it's by the kitchen. There's Darwin in the house. Why? Why not? Call the exterminator. And you planted some flowers for mom. What do you mean okay, college fun? You're not gonna be allowed into college. Uh, it's right in there, right in there. And there's also an invention in there for you. No. Was oh, this outside? Oh. 